Oh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of you. Thanks for joining in, and uh, for any of you, thanks for uh, subscribing. I'm very surprised, and uh, she's shocked that people have found um, this channel. But thanks again, and if you're here from GameStop, any of the news from Loop Ring, uh, welcome aboard. There's a lot to go on here. If you, yeah, definitely, if you're, if you're here from the stock market related to GameStop, you're familiar with the state of your education, which has basically been exponential. So continue this on through crypto and Loop Ring technology, because it is groundbreaking, and to me, it is something that is going to basically unite two different worlds in going forward. It definitely has a, a footer in this whole crypto NFT market. So keep learning and get ready because I'm going to keep posting uh, videos about this for a while. Um, there's always something new and something that's going on and more to be educated on. And the best part of it, investing crypto is getting into the applications and protocols because they are basically the line underneath the co each contract or token. It's everything that's helping you also as you invest in yourself to also build up your, your whole crypto ecosystem. And I say the word ecosystem because it's not like the stock market, we just have a portfolio or things just stay there. Your cryptocurrencies are basically growing and they're changing and adapting every time because of the education, the technology, and the foundations that they're built upon and that you can definitely see a split between the two coins and we'll talk about them a little bit um which you're all familiar with but to get talk to you in a little bit of basics here we you're familiar with loop ringle started basically the end of 2019 and it's basically one of the first to roll out with the zk roll-up all right it's gone through several different versions so far the first version only supported dex transactions all right in the order books the second version supported transfer payments now this third version supports amm swaps basically automatic automated market maker swaps. And now this year officially released this latest version now, layer two NFTs. And that's why we believe and going along everything that has come out with the leaks from GitHub and everything else, the tweets and everyone else working and the applications being sent off about the new development with NFTs, all this, and that's fantastic because this new version on level two with Loopring supports NFTs for minting, transfers and trading on layer two. All right, now all of this can reduce the overall gas cost, but there's some areas which I often deal with, and, and of course, they lie within the whole Ethereum market. To me, it's like getting hit in the head with a two by four every time I try and do an exchange, a trade or a swap or something. Of course, number one, wallet price. If you've checked out the Loopring wallet price, it's a big turnoff. It, I seriously don't think you need it right now, um, unless you wanna buy in, that's fine with you. You have to pay whatever gas fees it is, I'm still waiting for a little bit to actually get in there. Because once you're on there, you have that wallet, you'll see how things progress with the zero gas fees and hopefully the ease of transactions, okay? Now, another thing for layer two, transfer speed, price, but also failure, you still pay. And this is something if you've ever had it, a failure, uh, transaction failure, it has happened, okay? So it's all there, but all of this is gonna be for the ZK rollup eliminated. All right, now think about the LRC token. People are buying into this and they're holding it and saying, hey, what's going on with this? I just heard about this through GameStop or Superstonk or the Loop Ring. And also, doesn't matter if you're on exchange and you see this bumping up in the last few days because of the price increase. Well, it comes down to value. All right, now this is where I say things split. Uh, Sheeb Dogecoin, what do you think their value is? People buy it because they basically advertise, hey, hold this, buy this, it's great. Sure, it's cheap, why not? But outside of your belief and among other those believe in buying it, what is it? To me, it's like the US dollar now. Money just keeps printing and printing and printing where the value of the dollar to me doesn't really hold anything. There's a belief that it's there, the belief that it holds. But now the LSE token, its overall purpose is to help the ecosystem, the whole ecosystem that is around the Ethereum and loop ring technology. Now the LRC, it's gonna be used to incentivize behavior that is beneficial beneficial for the loop ring ecosystem. Uh, here's the word ecosystem again. All right, because there's a lot going on here. It can has protocol fees, right? You have a say, you have a vote in the system. And again, this is gonna ignite the transition to Ethereum level two, which is still a far way off. But for now with the ZK rollups, you know, with layer one, you know, ZK rollups are part of layer two, all right? This is a win-win situation because when you actually have value for something that you can see and get money back, you're, if you do partake in this whole system, the structure, and you read about it, you'll see that this is very beneficial. It's a win-win situation, all right? Now, there's several ways in which the coin can actually provide and earn protocol fee distributions, all right? Loopring protocol fees come from a transaction volume 
through the different e economic activities on the loop ring layer two. All right. Now, if you're also going along with that, that is fantastic because you need to have that value and that solid belief of a structure within the ecosystem that actually returns value to you. Once you buy in, the coins are going to be basically funding a lot of different things. And that is important. So I'll put some links down below. Please go read about it. Uh, can't get heavy. Read over it a few times because there's always something new coming out related to Loop Ring, the new technology, as they slowly release more information about this. All right. Now, the NFT market. If you're familiar with OpenSea, if you browsed offers for a good range of items, sure, you know, you try to set up something. If you have any NFTs, I put a couple online. And uh, your account requires you to first transfer by Ethereum. And of course, you have to pay the gas fees. Huge, huge gas fees. Again, like the wallet, um, the Loopring wallet does have kind of high gas fees, or you know, it can have a lot of this. But for the NFT market, for most people, is it really worth setting up and having an NFT when you're paying such a high kind of gas fee exchange rate? Not really. But this is where I think GameStop is going to be hitting the nail on the head with one swing right into the two by four. Done. Just one swift hit. All right, basically, let's think about free wallets. Okay, now also, they're using this technology from Loopring, the ZK Rollup Layer 2, which basically states zero gas fees and instant transfers and swaps, just like a credit card, very fast. Now, I say a credit card because that's instantaneous, all right? Now, with the NFTs, you can't just think about NFTs, but I'm sure there's more to it because why would you want to aim small? GameStop is not going to aim small. Aim small, hit small. Aim big, hit big. The best part of GameStop is gaming. Gotta think gaming. Don't just think NFTs because it's it's a bigger, bigger balloon here that's going on, all right? Now, the, if you think about gaming, brainstorm some ways in which you'd like to see some gaming being applied to this new market. Maybe not a market. How about Arena? All right? If you think about Arena and everything that can happen with everything that's inside this, okay? Something I'm seeing here, videos, chat, stores, online gaming, like Twitch, streamers online pull some streamers from Twitch, put them on this new marketplace, this new arena, you know, just kind of like the Oasis and the movie Ready Player One. Little zones to go in. I mean, just to go through everything. And there's a lot more to this, but I definitely see this as possibly having video chats, stores, online gaming, uh, merchandise, NFTs, the list goes on. And for me, this is exciting. The more I read about this, uh, people are sharing because right now I love this hive mind going on. People are helping out each other so much, breaking down information, sharing things, linking things, so we all can get a better fundamental understanding of the underlying technology and how this technology will enhance our futures. This is the most important thing. It's going to enhance our lives. And for me, every day I wake up, I'm excited. I go to work and I was thinking today, this is such a fantastic time to live in. No other time I've actually thought about waking up and thinking about the period of time we're actually living through a part of history where things are changing so much. And to see younger generations growing into this and having them develop and build upon this is phenomenal. I'm just so excited about this because the educational aspects are there, the gaming and finance, it's all there. And I'm so glad to be pushing the old man system away and having this new technology advanced generation Kids, teenagers, men, women, everybody coming together to really push this forward. And I'm stoked for this. So all of you out there, yeah, I, I find a lot of value in L LRC token. I'm continuing buying more. And I'm still, even right now, waiting on more transfers. It's been two days. I'm still waiting for more transfers for this. Ethereum takes a while. So anyway, you guys have a great day. Stay strong.